Jordan, just go. Welcome to Thriller Vault. Tonight I have the scary and controversial true story of Taylor Smith and Jordan Holgerson. Quick disclaimer, I have edited, paraphrased, and made this into a story. Some minor details may be speculation and or fiction, especially regarding Taylor's motivations and inner thoughts. But the main details are true according to the video, court testimony, and various news articles. Here is Frenemies. When I woke up on August 7th, 2018, I was happy. I was planning to go to Moulton Falls with some friends. Moulton Falls is a regional park near where I live in Washington State. Anyway, it was me, my friend Jordan, and a few cute boys. I was 18 years old at the time, and Jordan was only 16. We had been good friends for like a year. So we went to the park. There was this wooden bridge that the guys wanted to jump off of. It was really high, like 60 feet from the bridge to the river below. Jordan was all like, I'm going to jump too. I thought, there's no way she's going to jump. I wouldn't have jumped, and I'm pretty tough, so I knew she was full of shit. Then Jordan told me that she wanted to jump, but she thought she was too afraid to go through with it. She told me she wanted me to push her. We walked out to the middle of the bridge. One of the guys jumped like right away, like it was nothing. He was perfectly fine. Then another one of the guys jumped. Jordan took off her shorts and t-shirt, so she was just in her bikini. The guys definitely noticed. Jordan climbed over the railing and stood on the edge, looking at the water 60 feet below. Her arms were behind her, holding on to the railing. She kept saying that she wasn't ready, that she couldn't do it. I cheered her on, tried to get her to overcome her fear, but she was being a drama queen. Right. I don't care. I jump in there to save you if anything happens. <laughs> Jordan, I got you. Just go. Stop talking. Stop no, talking. This went on for like 15 minutes. You can see Taylor in the videos. She was getting kind of irritated or something with her because she wasn't jumping. I mean, she probably stood on the bridge for about 15 minutes. It was ridiculous. I was like effing jump already or climb back over the railing. I kept telling Jordan to go and she kept saying no, but she was still on that ledge. I started a countdown, but she was shaking her head. Three, no, I won't go on. two. Well, she's saying no. No, I just... I even told her I was going to push her and Jordan just laughed. Two, one, no. go. Go! Right, just go? Just go! Just go! You promised him you would do it! I'm so scared right now! Jordan! Go! Jordan, I'm gonna push you! No! I thought this girl is never gonna do it on her own. Three! No, I won't go in. Two! Well, she's saying no. No, I just... Ready? Oh, oh that's so fun. So, I pushed her. I know it looks bad on video, but I thought that's what she wanted. I honestly didn't think she'd get hurt, but she landed wrong, and I guess if you land wrong, it can be like hitting concrete. But if they hit the water wrong, doctors say it can be like landing on concrete. She landed like chest first. It was like a belly flop from 60 feet up. Broke five ribs, punctured her lung, injured her trachea and leg, bruised her esophagus, and had air trapped in the lining of her lungs. In the air, I was trying to push myself um, forward so I could be like straight up and down so that my feet hit first, but that didn't really work. She was in the hospital for two days. I tried to see Jordan in the hospital, but her family told me to leave. I talked to Jordan several times on Snapchat and on text, apologizing for what I did. At first, she was like, you're fine. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. But then she ghosted me, totally stopped answering me. I think her mom was angry with me, and then Jordan was too. I wish we could have stayed friends. I loved that girl. Then the guys posted that video, and it went viral. It was everywhere. The comments were so toxic. Everyone was against me, saying that I should be arrested and put in prison. They said I was jealous of Jordan, that she was prettier than me, that I was pissed that she was getting all the attention from the guys, and that's why I pushed her. But that wasn't it. I just wanted to help her do what she wanted to do. It was awful. I was like the most hated person on the planet and Jordan was this pretty little victim. I don't think it should have been such a big thing. It was weird with everyone after that. Some of the guys took Jordan's side. I didn't even know we had sides. I was just messing around. I wasn't trying to hurt her. 
It was a mistake. Anyway, two of the guys, Colby and Brady, were on the news talking shit. That's all I wanted was her not to get hurt, so I was telling her, you don't have to do it. Brady said that I was getting irritated with Jordan because she wasn't jumping. You could see Taylor in the video, she was getting kind of irritated or something with her because she wasn't jumping. I mean, she probably stood on the bridge for about 15 minutes. But that was bullshit. Jordan and I were in the same friend group, so it was really awkward. I would have to leave whenever she showed up. I wanted to put it behind us, but then Jordan's mom started saying that I should be arrested. I was 18, so I could be charged as an adult. She should probably just turn herself in. I realize what she did wrong. This is not okay. She could have killed my daughter. It was really scary. I could go to prison for a long time for just messing around, for doing what Jordan wanted me to do. She wanted to jump and she was scared and she had asked me to give her a push. Never asked Taylor to push me and I don't think I would have. Then Jordan started saying that I should go to jail to think about what I'd done. Um, I just wanted Taylor to be put away for a little bit so that she could think about what she did and about her actions. That totally sounds like her mother, by the way. I was already thinking about what I did every day. All I did was think about it. It was hell. I was eventually charged with reckless endangerment. I could go to prison for like a year. Can you believe that just for being a teenager? I pleaded not guilty in September of 2018, and they set my pre-trial hearing date for a few months later. In December, my pre-trial hearing, my lawyers delayed everything. The negativity I got from social media was still really bad, so it made sense to delay it. How was I supposed to have a fair trial with all that bullshit going on? The longer we waited, the better it would be for my case. I wasn't trying to drag anything out or hurt Jordan more, but that's obviously what she and everyone else thought. And I don't think she's taking any responsibility, and she's making this a difficult trial. In February of 2019, the DA sent my lawyers a plea deal. If I pleaded guilty to reckless endangerment, I would have to do some community service, but I wouldn't have to go to jail. I agreed to the plea. I just wanted it to be over. Then, in March of 2019, when we went to court, I figured it was all settled. My lawyers thought it was all settled. Even the prosecutors thought it was settled. We had a deal, but the judge changed my sentence. I didn't even know judges could do that. The judge sentenced me to two days in jail, 38 days on an unpaid work crew, and a $300 fine, and I couldn't come in contact with Jordan for two years. They arrested me right there in the courtroom handcuffed me and took me to jail. It was on camera and everything. It was humiliating. Everyone was so happy to see me crying, but people still weren't satisfied. Everyone was saying that I got off too easy, that I should have went to prison for a long time. Whatever, they didn't know me. I was just so sick of all the bullshit. I did my time, paid my fine, and did my work. Then I went on with my life, or at least I tried to. It always comes up somehow. It's like I can never get away from it. Stupid ass YouTubers are still making videos about me. Anybody who Googles me will find out what I did and they'll think I'm a monster, but I'm not a monster. I was just a kid who did a stupid thing. Thank you so much for watching and listening to Thriller Vault. If you enjoyed this story, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you all next week for another Thriller story.